Hi, welcome to Peace Donkeys. Today I'm going to show you how to make this stool. Um, this is just made out of some recycled tyres. Um, this is on wheels, so you can push it around. Um, it's two tyres high. Um, we've got a padded stool um, top here, but it's very thin. You could also use um, big thick foam if you wanted that to be a real comfy stool. Um, and you can use it as storage as well, so you can put wool or whatever you want inside there. Okay, depending on how, how high your tyres are, you can use this as a seat like it is now, or you can um, just have one tyre height and you can use that as a poof or a footstool, um, depending on what, what you want to use it for. So I've co-opted my husband to help with some of the parts of this. Um, it is much easier with two people um, doing this. So we'll go ahead and show you how we did it. Okay, so first off you're going to measure your tyre diameter and then we'll work out, um, this is for the board, for the bottom and the top. So for the bottom board that's going to go on the bottom of your, of your stool, you want that to be on the outer measurement and then you're going to want another board for the inner measurement when you're doing the top of, of your poof. So you can either, the, what I was going to do was put a screw in and tie your pencil to it, you can do that. Or if you've got a big pair of dividers or a compass, you can do exactly the same thing. So I'm just going to set my dividers and then I'll just scribe that arc and see how it comes out. That's coming out pretty good. There's various ways to cut this, but I'm going to, today I'm going to use a jigsaw. Just clamp it down, keeps it all secure. Now, if you haven't got a jigsaw, you could probably use a, like a small coping saw or something. It doesn't have to be perfect because one's on the bottom, and you won't see that, and the other one will be covered with vinyl or a material of some sort. So, now this will be noisy. Make sure you've got hearing protection too. Just use a bit of sandpaper after you've cut them. Just take off the sharp edges. I've just written on top and bottom because they are slightly different sizes and this is the top here, it will just sit into that recess there and that's what's going to be covered. Now I'm just going to scribe some lines. Now I'll come in about 10 mil or even 15 mil will do, 15 should put it up on there, right? That's a bit of working height. So, today, are you still going? Yep. So today, I'm just going to use any old bolts that you've got. So I might use, these are 8mm bolts. Now I'm going to use an 8mm bolt, so I'll put probably a 9 to 10mm drill bit through. Just give you a bit of clearance so you're not trying to force something through. Now you can just drill through enough. Mark the holes. You can, they're drilling pretty easy, so... You can smell the... Smell the rubber burning. Okay. I'll just take that off and might give those a bit of a drill out because when it's rubber it sort of just 
folds in on itself. A bit of the rain. I'm just using a ratchet here to screw the bolt down through the rubber. I'm just having a bit of trouble getting it in. So you could either do it the way I'm doing it, or you could use a bigger drill to go through the rubber. Now you might need longer bolts, just depending on the size and type of tyre you've got. This tyre's got quite a curve. I was having a bit of trouble with those 30mm bolts, so I'm probably going to 40mm bolts now. But... Now I'm just going to spray this edge because you're about to see that. You can spray, you can paint the underneath if you want. It's up to you, but no one will really even see that, but they will see the edge. So I'm just going to bung a bit of black spray paint around the edge before I attach the wheels. Now um, I'm going to attach the wheels and I'm going to place them about where my cross marks were so they're about the same distance apart. Use these screws are just small self-tapping countersunk screws. Now you don't need necessarily need countersunk screws, it's just what I had in, in my shed. So you can use something like that um, or something like that with a flat head. Flat head's probably good, but whatever you've got, you need to go and buy something. Only something fairly small because you don't want it fairly short because you don't want it poking through inside. Now, your screw size is going to be dependent on how big your casters are and your holes are. Um, now, if you haven't got a drill, I'm just going to use a drill with a bit, a Phillips head bit, to screw me screws into my casters. But if you haven't got that, uh, you can just use a screwdriver. But it might just take a bit longer. So using a screwdriver there, you're just going to I'm only using craft wood, so you can going in there, which is only a soft wood, which is good for this sort of thing. There you go, using a screwdriver, but I'm going to do it the easy way. There's my base arm with my four wheels. Now I'm going to spin that over and I'm going to attach the other tyre. Okay, we want to attach the two tyres. I'll stick this one on top, line it all up. Now with this one, I, I think I can line it all up on top and just drill through four equally spaced holes and then I'll bolt them together. Now if your tyre doesn't allow that, you're going to have to probably Drill through this one, four AP space holes, put that on top, mark the holes through with a bit of chalk or whatever you got, take it off and drill those four holes, put it back on and bolt it through. Okay. Now you might have to uh, use reasonably long bolts, depending on your tyre again. Uh, I'm just doing these bolts up with a spanner and a ratchet, but you use whatever you've got. 
Right, oh, the two tyres attached together with four bolts. My base is on with my four casters. So I can pull that off. Stick it on the ground and just see if it's going to work all right. Looks all right to me. So my next step, get the top that I cut out. And I'm going to um, attach four bits of wood, four blocks on the bottom side. So it basically centers the, the top. So when you're using it in your land room, it doesn't slip off, fall off, but you can still take it off. Now I've cut four blocks. Anything will do, something reasonably small. Now I'm just going to drill, pre-drill a hole in them. About in the middle. Just so it's easy to get me screw in, that's all. Right, and then my next step is take my top off, measure the inside diameter of your tyre. So it's about 425. Now use my dividers again. Mark my inner circle, which is the inside of that. So these will be on about the edge of that circle.